Hi guys, welcome back to St Blazing Model World. It's time to look at the finished product. Quite a while ago now I produced a number of videos on painting and improving the interiors of model buses. And I also, more or less at the same time, produced a number of videos on painting a model and how to go about that process in a couple of different ways the ways in which I believe it should be done, the ways that have worked for me perfectly well over the years. So this is just a fairly short video to look at the model that featured in a lot of those videos now that it's finished and uh, we'll just take a look at some of the detail and you can see how it's turned out, see what you think and hopefully it'll inspire you to improve your own model vehicles. I have to say I think improving the model vehicles is quite important. I go to quite a few railway exhibitions and I see some lovely, well crafted, highly detailed model railway layouts and then you look at some of the vehicles and you just think, wrong vehicle for that area, the trains have all been weathered nicely but the vehicles are all gleaming, wouldn't really be the case and a number of other things like that. So. Uh, Hopefully, if you even if you're a model railway enthusiast, you'll be inspired to look at the model vehicles on your own layout and have a crack at improving those as well. So, as I say, this featured in a number of videos, and you'll find uh, top right hand corner you should find a link to a playlist which features all of the videos I've mentioned already. Uh, just to recap, this vehicle is a 150th scale model. And for those of you that are wondering what that is, how large it is, because most modelling tends to happen in 176 or 00 gauge, we'll just put by the side of this model an identical bus, uh, but of course in a, a gauge lower it's 176. So we'll put that in there. That's another Code 3 that's halfway through production. But they are exactly the same type of bus, so it gives you a fair idea of comparison of size. Just in case you're really unsure about 150 of scale and 176 scale, I've now dropped in the middle of these two buses a double O gauge class 08 shunter. It's quite an old one, but it does give you an idea of the size. And we'll just have a look at this now from a different view. And that I hope gives you some idea of the size of this particular model, the green one, the focus of this video. Now I've mentioned before when we, we've been doing Code 3 projects on the channel one of the steps that I like to start with is taking a photograph of all four sides of the donor vehicle, the vehicle we're starting with and I guess it's appropriate now that we have a look at all four sides of how this model has ended up so we'll just put in four still photographs you can just pause the screen if you wish to and have a look and see how it's turned out Well, I suppose a good place to start, as good a place as any, is the front of this model. Um, you see it there, it has a, a white area for a number plate, there's a fleet name. The lights are all in, we've got uh, a route number and a destination. And we've also got a couple of adverts. And you'll notice on the left-hand side as you look at it, that left-hand advert next to the route number there is partly worn away. That's a deliberate recreation and the reason for that is that when these vehicles used to go through bus washes and so on there would be a leading brush and um, it's a bit it's exactly the same as a giant car wash really and the uh, the leading brush tended to hit the vehicle hardest and these uh, thin vinyl or in some cases even paper adverts that were never meant to be kept or be on there forever did get worn away and they tended to be worn away in certain areas first and that's why part of that advert is missing. It's quite deliberate recreation. So we'll just take a look now at the off side of this vehicle. We'll start there. You can see around all of the, uh, or around the windows, some of the windows that are opening windows on this model that we went in and recreated the silver colour, the aluminium that was there. We've also, excuse me, we've also put in an advert. Again, it's a faded advert, deliberate reconstruction. 
on the lower half of the vehicle of course we've got the indicator just behind the driver's cab the fuel point just below the fleet name what else have we got on here we've detailed the emergency door handle again in silver at the very back and we've added some black to the grille just on the engine bustle there at the rear of the vehicle the wheels are the right color for the model gray uh, for the period we're modeling in and at the very bottom of the model in between the two wheels is the running board which in this case has been painted black I should say there are mirrors to go on this model uh, two of them at the front one one for each side I tend not to put those on uh, during dispatch because they fall off it doesn't matter how well you put them on so here when we're when we're uh, parting with these models the mirrors will be included to the recipient with instructions on how to put them on and that'll be a task for them and it just saves a little bit of disappointment uh, especially if you've been looking forward to something and uh, it arrives broken we've all been there and that's something we try to avoid so on the near side the curb side it's much the same black running board in between the two wheels we've picked out the silver on the bottom edge of the entrance the door rubbers have been picked out as well in black uh, again indicator just behind the entrance doors and just below that is the emergency door opening button other than that that's about it for this side um, again an advert has been added period advert of the time correct for the model and the period that we're uh, rec recreating this model in we'll just have a very quick look at the back an advert we've got a safety sign there as well please let the bus pull out we've picked out the uh, engine uh, cover in uh, black lining just to show where that will be the shut lines for that and of course lights as well uh, at the very top of this model we can zoom in and get a reasonable picture you'll notice that we've even picked out the hinges on the emergency door at the top deck as well as the handle to allow that to open and close and we'll just take a quick look at the uh, detail on the top deck and again you can see the chrome applied to the tops of the seats for the grab rails one color on the front of the seats and a different color on the back and of course that's all reproduced on the lower deck as well so there we are a completed project minus its mirrors shortly to be uh, dispatched i hope you found it worthwhile having a look at this uh, model and seeing how it's turned out uh, i'm quite pleased with it it has been uh, a bit of a drawn out process because of the nature of creating YouTube videos but uh, there we are next on the channel we're going back to some uh, model train stuff and some real train stuff as well um, we're going to be having a look at a couple of local railway stations uh, and a roundhouse and a turntable uh, what else we've got uh, some refurbs coming up on some locomotive bodies which I think are all double O gauge as far as I remember and we'll video some of that process as well so there we are lots to look forward to if you have enjoyed this short video then uh, please give it a thumbs up please leave a comment feel free to ask a question and as always subscribe and if you do subscribe just hit that bell icon and select all and then you'll get an alert every time we release a channel video that's it take care stay safe bye for now